My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spy Downfall. We're going to be going in with the Snecker. All right, Rise Servant. No problem. Lose all soul, transform two cards. That seems good. Uh, There's also a path for two elites. One, two, three, four, four midline upgrades. Two late shops. Baby. That looks like a good path. Yeah, let's transform these two cards. Let's go strike and defend. We get dice block, gain one to ten block maximum is increased by each unknown and deal damage equal to the un number of unknown cards in deck. So yeah, we are very much going for an unknown build. As if we were going to go for anything else, to be entirely honest with you though as well. Um, snack beam removes its unknown, one unknown to it. So yeah, this is still very low damage right now. I don't want to upgrade the tail whip because we've done that recently. We were very, very not inspired by it. Transform another card. Uh, we need more damage. So I'm going to transform a defend here. Mix it up. Deal five damage for each of your potions. Lose your potions and replace them with new ones. Seven. That's 21 damage by itself. If you happen to get full potions. Um, I mean, we, we should probably just upgrade the unknown cards now. Smash. It's at least some damage. Let's dice block first, see how much that gets us. Okay, that and a defend is comfy. And we'll snack bite, see if either of these... Oh, they both become zero cost, baby. Gotta love that right there. Uh, and then double tap, tail whip. Unknown block card. You. Mmm, I love seeing a dash there. I'm going to burn the mix it up because it does nothing in this deck right now. So we've got dash foreign influence pre-upgraded. <gasps> Damage. Um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was underwhelming. Vulnerability. least woken up with a decent damage turn right there. Tail whip. Okay, we got weakness on you as well. Lock for one. Thankfully, you do have dash here. Dash snack bite. And you can get a tail whip out for a weakness. Nice. Should be able to kill this in... Zero and zero again. He likes... Uh, should be able to kill this before it gets another hit out. Go. Archibeko, your first attack each combat deals three additional damage. Sorry, eight additional damage rather. More power. Obtain an additional upgraded unknown card at the end of each combat. Yes. Okay, actually now we want to go for as many combats as possible. Hang on. Upgrade that to become zero cost. Don't really need to upgrade that entirely. Uh, but it has to be played every single fight. So this saves us an energy. Sure. I'll take the upgrade then. Uh, meat on the bone. That gives me the ability to go full tilt for a lot more combats in a row. We'll also upgrade the unknown block card. I'm probably going to take this and then Vera. Actually, no, I still I still do need to get two elite fights. Obtain an additional unknown upgraded card reward at the end of combat. That might still be given to me in a in a merchant fight. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. We probably want to wait until we have Snack Beam before we actually start attacking. Really? No, we can't wait that long. Just wanted to be able to play the, the one of them after. Rude. Definitely go for a dice block. Snack beam to a three across the fields. Yeah, we're going to be relying on the meat on the bone. Certainly after this combat. So I actually need to make sure that I take a little bit more damage. I need to get down to 45. Um, that'll do it. Hopefully we can kill the frontline target this turn. Well, even if we can't, we can defend. Yeah, 
vulnerability and get the kill there. Unfortunately, we have to take an extra 10 damage, but that's okay. This is our final elite on the floor. So we don't have much past this point we have to worry about too much. Uh, dice block. And then snake bite easily. Okay, and then we should just be able to kill with the tail whip on draw. Add an unknown plus card to your deck. Yeah, because this is this is not. Wait, no, it won't work. It, it so the the merchant thing works with anything that is not a typical reward you would get after a after a reward screen. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, unknown upgraded attack card. I think here yeah, we need some extra damage, and then I'll take that dex card. Certainly. Upgrade the dex card. Uh, okay. Collect in the next hand. Collect and then multi beam in the next hand. Uh, sure. Allows us to defend ourselves as well as deal some damage. I like it. I'll snack bite first. Not more power. As long as we get the more power played out, I'm pretty comfy with the rest of this combat. However it goes, really. Ninety-five? Eighty-five rather damage there? Okay, we don't get the card. Oh no, an upgraded power. There's another dice block which seems really relevant here. Take a dice block and then remove the tail whip. Tail whip's just super underwhelming. Upgrade three cards, become cursed with regret. Love it. Mix it up, snake beam and strike. Yeah, okay. It's fine, we got him at least. Um, I do like that we get the birthday stone and we have two powers each combat as well. It's two powers, right? Uh, no, it's one power and then another one that might give us power. Right? Yeah, this, the, the Noxious Fumes was just a random unknown card. Grow and Pummel next turn. Oh. So, Grow is two, so ten goes to thirty. Fine. Um, um, okay. Sounds speaker defense now. Uh, is it because Grow says, like, trade this for this rather so we didn't have a slime slot to trade away i wonder if there's any value in a character having you know specifically the snacko as well having a stasis slot a slime slot a orb slot right um it's worth noting in the base game uh if you have access to other characters class uh class cards if you have prismatic shard or foreign influence but only with base mod right? there's a little bit of a wrinkle there but uh if you have access to any card that generates an orb or could theoretically generate an orb, you are usually given an orb slot so that it doesn't feel so bad to be just like, ah, oh, this card does nothing. I think that might be useful in this circumstance as well. Unknown upgraded ironclad card. Sure. I like that snake sap too. 800 souls, thank you. Snack Beam's almost lethal right now. Lose one focus, gain one strength and dex. See, because focus is a stat and slime orbs, orb slots and slime slots, none of those are stats, right? Which is why they don't equally work there. Vulnerable card or an uncommon skill card? 
think we need a little bit of access to vulnerability in this deck. I could definitely go Berserk here. And in fact, Force Field's going to be playable for us as well. You'll love to see that. And we have two more powers in the deck. It only gets more playable. Roll that out. More power. Collect. Throw out the Flash of Steel as well. And then regret it. Oh gosh. I kind of just want to throw out the largest malaise I can here. We miss out on a decent amount of damage, but... So does the enemy. Although their orbs are still dealing full damage, that, that's the big problem. Oh, you're going to be weakened for both the turns of your streamline here. I'm really glad to see that. Streamline could have been an issue. Those two lightning orbs are really giving me some issues here. I'm barely breaking through the enemy's armor at this point. That said, I don't really have much more I can force into this fight. Thank you, that was breaking for defense rather than breaking for offense. All right. Come on. Thank heck for that force field, though. Supremely necessary here. And we get the kill. Let's look at the rare card. Ooh, whenever you play an off-class card, draw one card. A lot of our unknowns are going to be off-class. So that is a lot of draw for us. Just whether or not we feel like we can actually take it. Unknown rare power card. The thing is, a lot of unknown rare powers aren't going to be good because we don't have the ability to use them. Because we don't have the access to the base mechanics of other characters. I think it has to be exotic form here. Unknown upgraded three cost card though. Okay, that's a little less situational. Definitely can't take ectoplasm. It's really hard to take ectoplasm in this mod due to the fact that you have all of the things you have to break and those cost money. Runic Dome. Honestly, I could probably take Runic Dome. Philo Stone also seems pretty pretty takeable here. We are over defended a lot of turns. Although that was with the 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 force fiend force field rather in the deck. Okay. Maximum elite path is a two elite path, so I should choose that as well as as many combats as I can get into here. Exotic form needs to be playable. Lose one slime shot in exchange for two decks, two strength. Yeah, that's not going to be able to do anything here because of that. Um, slime Brawl is also not really useful here. It does play the top card of our deck at the absolute least, though. That actually might be my next hand. And Snack, Bullseye Strike. Snake bite, changing the cost of this down, thankfully. It also tried to change the cost of the snake sap, but couldn't do it. The snake sap is unmeddleable. Unfortunately, we drew immediately a time ripple that actually would have been pretty handy there, but didn't have the ability to utilize it. Uh... Oh, actually, we've got the kill here, it's fine. That, then mix it up. Ah, so if mix it up is used for the kill, it actually doesn't even refresh your potions. 
Soul Draw. I like extra draw in this deck, but do we need any extra draw after having uh, the Exotic Form? Yes, because we're going to add more cards to this deck and we still want Exotic Form. So we need to get to it. Extra card draw will help with that. Gain some strength this combat. I feel a little gorilla. Oh, we so we do have a slime slot, but it's only generated when we play a splitting card. Huh? Right. Start out with the backflip. Defensive starts. That's kind of necessary right now. Pretty extremely vulnerable. Uh oh. Really wanted more defense out of that, if I'm totally honest with you. Ow. It's okay, we're just getting the meat on the bone active. That's the plan the whole time. Hey, that variant of bottle is nice. Although, almost certainly not going to be used. Because we're going to have to re-roll away from it. Tungsten Rod, whenever you lose HP, lose one less. Upgraded Strength card seems pretty good there. Uh, unknown Block card, whenever you model a card, gain one block next turn. We don't really model. Love when a game's as simple as that. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Grow worked that time? Huh? I... I'm not going to try and understand that. I, I think I'm going to drive myself mad if I try. So. Woohoo! A uh, fruit juice for some max HP. I think we will. Uh, I think we'll. We'll definitely play that one. Okay, and there's no stasis slots. Uh, nope. Exhaust a card in hand. Replace it with a random card of the same type. It costs one less. Yeah, let's, let's take a note. There are a few cards we may want to end up... Replace all strikes and defense with random unknown cards. Improvisation. There's only two strikes and two defense. There's two strikes and a single defend, but still, I think that's a good idea. Creativity triumphs over planning every time. You're going to have to make sure those words ring true for us. Oh my god, demon form on turn one. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. There's a snack beam for a bunch of damage across the party. I can kill them all this turn is the thing, but then I miss out on my, my more power. I think I have to do it, though. I don't want to take this much damage right now. Slither Strike is really good here. Reduce the cost of off-cast cards in hand by one. Yeah. Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP, each combat draw through cards. Uh... Card draw really does matter to me. I think we need it. Paranormal form. Sorry, friend. Definitely not the kind of card we want here. Let's soul draw. Good soul draw right there. We'll also throw out a slither strike for some cost reduction. Got a 
drink that if I'm going to mix it up afterwards. On a little bit more damage, I can get, get, can get down to half HP. We'll be fine. This card is exhausted. Take six damage. It goes against our armor, thankfully, though. All right. We also managed to block that debuff. And we get Omega out. That's perfect. So we'll Omega and then double dice block. I'm not using dash here. I want to be able to play another power. Not two. Yep, get some more of my HP back. And kill you. Weak card looks pretty good there as well. And an unknown. Oh, okay. We go weak card and weak card. Actually, weak card and strength card then if I have already gotten a weak card. Find some more scaling for us to get in combat. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's slither strike the frontliner here and then reprogram for a dice block. We get the regret to get us a bunch of extra. He gets it to draw at the end of the turn. Ah, that regret's even worse now. Metamorphosis add even more cards into the deck randomly. Uh, that's probably going to be it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Sleep Spy would be able to play that even if I did draw it. Blue the Strike wouldn't help us, though. I don't want to nope last stand. That's actually pretty good, especially if I do get below half HP over the course of this fight. Finally, we got the more power. So now I feel pretty comfortable ending the fight with any draw that I can manage. Eh, nothing I necessarily need to circle back to. Hmm. Let's go for an ethereal card, maybe, there? And a one cost. We do just want as many unknowns as possible, so I'm just going full tilt for him. Also going to break the emerald and then recall for the ruby key. We need to start getting those, at least. There's the exotic form already. the worst. Uh, okay, fine. I think I'm going to try and... Yeah, target down the mainliner. I didn't want to get vulnerable and then be taking even more damage to you. So here we only take four damage total. And then we can nope the Thunderstrike as... It, it feels like we haven't really had a Sneko run until we've had to nope a Thunderstrike. Too many slime boss cards are just not going to work for me. It, it, it's really hard for me to take this option. Similarly, it's really hard for me to take the, uh, the Guardian one because all of them are going to be unsocketed. If, they're, like, if their value is based in having sockets, they are unsocketed. And it's really hard for me to take any from the Hexaghost because I don't have any of the Hexaghost mechanics to actually work off of. So, like, these ones are so hard to take. 
take the upgraded attack there. Don't have any place for that. Unknown skill. Speed boost. Um, soul draw. I'm gonna nope the nightmare there. Trash the treasure. He's also can't gain energy. It's cost. Okay. Well, that would have been better to not have with this. I don't want to trash to treasure the spheric shield. I actually think that's probably a good idea to keep. Just play. And then I'll trash to treasure the... the other card and then dice block. So this gives me the ability to effectively just be full blocked for a couple turns. More power. Ooh, I can even just exhume and then play the spheric shield again here. And I think I will. <laughs> I should have definitely snack bitten though. That's my bad. Yeah, that would have been a lot easier to play. Eerie Expedition for a power from beyond. At least we can upgrade that with the armaments. I'll drink the fruit juice before we mix it up. More max HP is still very, very valuable. Okay. And we should be pretty comfy now. Let's go exotic form and then collect. Really? Regret. Why? Soul draw for nothing, but that does happen from time to time. You gotta be prepared for it. And then Sneko, Searing, Halt. The Stone Calendar will get the kill here if I don't. But I'll pitch in. Another vulnerable card, I think, and then Fruit Juice. White Sting upgrades all off-class cards in hand, but all of most of our cards at this point are just coming to our hand upgraded. Let's take the rep power. Okay, it's very important that I get this fight as as effectively as we possibly can. We honestly, I'm gonna probably nope that Wraith form. I'll probably be okay with the amount of what I do next turn, I guess. So we've got them weakened. So it's not much damage they're dealing. Scroll. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dark Shackles immediately invalidates the entire enemy. I need to get as many cards out of hand as possible for the sake of the footwork. Oh, sorry, for the regret. Sorry, it's directly next to the footwork. Lick, get some vulnerability on you. Okay, that looks a lot better now. We'll snack bite, changing the cost of a couple things, and then slither strike, so they change again. At the end of our turn, yeah, we definitely have to remove the regret here. It's going to be mix it up wish this turn, certainly. Fruit juice, liquid luck, so that this gives us three back. Four random zero cost cards. That could matter. Glittering gold. Hey, this turn, cards to choose the random number, choose the maximum possible effect, so we'll do that with glittering gold. That's pretty good. Go for the strength and then use the mix it up, I think, yeah. I really just need to get as much damage out of here as possible. It's 
I'm very scared. Show quartered hand. Do they trip out there? Honestly, that last turn was very impactful. I'm starting to feel okay about the possibility of just going for one more shop and still having enough to actually kill him. Upon pickup, obtain an unknown rare card of each type. Hmm. Okay, three unknowns. Also get a dex by base in the deck. I fear what I have to do here is just remove a regret. I didn't want to have to have that be what I had to do, but it feels like it's definitely the right thing to do here. I'll run out of that fight. I'll go to a question mark. Sure. All face. Do I really want all faces here? I don't want to go to many question marks next floor. I'm a 50-50. I'm okay, thanks. Okay, that's enough, and then we can David form afterwards. Energy is no longer a problem for us. Let's exotic form for a snake sap. Then I will slither strike, bringing back snake sap. Play the game. And hopefully, we draw some more colorless cards. There, we, or rather, off-class cards. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is so good. Oh, no, I had played a boss card this turn. I mean, that wish. This one is for more money. We can justify that one, certainly. Dark oh, Country is not going to help, though. I mean, draws a card at the absolute least. Draws a couple with the amount of damage we take. Gave us some strength back, too. Okay, there were there were a lot of reasons to do that actually. Then uh, nope, demon form. Mix it up a little bit there. Okay, that's enough block already. Let all the rest of those burn. Crescendo for a bash, and then let the fight resolve. I'll tell you what, we're probably uh we're probably screwed because of the lost hungry face here, actually. We're not we haven't got the sapphire yet, so we need to find a chest next floor. Skill shot. Ooh, stasis engine. You love to see. It. Oh, Ragnarok would be really good this turn. All right, I'm gonna use a beverage here. I'm gonna be a beverage man. It's then, actually, also gonna pull out this. One card exhaust. One card. Oh. So we go Impervious, Ragnarok, Gamble, get plus 19 souls there. Okay, and then I'm going to lose an Ironclad card, try and just get some decent ones there. Helps me get rid of a lot of cards there that weren't really good. Oh, by the Oasis, upgrade the whole deck. Cool. I like that. Also, not the active. Yeah, exactly. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. This does nothing for us. I think I'm going to reprogram. Obviously. Uh, hologram back the reprogram. Do that again. Then Ancient Attack. Gain. Eh? Uh, 
Try to snake sap for possibly some extra energy, and we get it. Weaken the enemy for a couple turns. Give him a good old glass knife and. Nice boulder for 10. Nice. Sure. I can't become confused, but now I'm going to draw two extra cards per turn. I had the artifact to negate that. Definitely vent some steam before we slither strike. Oh. Right, those all have a cost associated with them now. Whoops. We'll be fine, though. Ragnarok him for the kill. It's like an unknown colorless. Those are often good. I can't take that snack away right there. The start of combat and a study the spy card to your hand, it costs zero. I could happily take that. Let's study the Spire on turn one often here. Now, I need a path that has a lot of question marks so that I can try and find two... Uh, two actual chests. We've got a five path, and it starts with the lead over here. Sure. Break that for the extra strength, and then... Upgraded colorless cards are significantly better. It's armaments to get upgraded cards from the Study of the Spire as well. And then I'm also going to go You Are Mine for all the vulnerable, weak, and... Well, I mean, and block removal, but block removal does nothing here. Hey. Let's start out by doubling our energy. Stack a bunch of damage out there. I don't really care about my next cycle of the deck. Uh, okay, do I have anything in the deck that if it got played, I'd be very sad about? Not really, so I can play the Mayhem here. Yeah. It's defensive stance, mayhem, you or mine, probably. Ah, oh, right, of course, we're not going to be able to you are mine after that. Let's get in calm, just in case. An exhaust for nope. God, I like this whole hand, though. <laughs> Might be snake sap. The snake sap's not guaranteed to give us a pretty good result, but all the rest of these basically are. We played a snake bite, made the turn significantly easier to access. Thank you. Nice. Extremely useful damage turn there. We also got the... Where is it? Hey, yeah, we obtained an additional card at the end of this. More than happy to. Soul draw. And then accelerate just for the extra draw. Decrease the cost of things. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's not, not by itself. We'll trip, slither strike, expunge it for nothing, but draw a card at the absolute least. Mm. Yeah, we've got the kill. Fine. Ooh, strike dummy. 
No, 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 upgraded rare, sure. Hey, dice garage for a bunch of extra damage as well. That's the right time for that too. And sure, I'll take another Slither Strike. Those have been pretty useful with the amount of draw we have. <gasps> Corruption! Okay, and we've got card draw in hand as well. This is the right hand for it. It doesn't have to go off on turn one. It has time. Reach ethereal card. Yeah, we don't really do ethereal cards. A snack beam definitely wants to go out this turn. Wow. <laughs> wow. Corruption's good. The rest of this hurts a bit, though. We have to get the seal out. Ah, of course I can't play the Goop Spray because it's another boss card. I, I completely blanked on that. Oops. Just wanted to make sure that I get a card upgrade at the end of combat. Okay. Can I get some energy? A little bit more would have been nice. That'll do, though. Rare upgraded attack. And... Yeah, just another unknown, I think, again. Can't go for that shop there. Unfortunately, actually, we're on a... Mm, yeah, I still need to go for these question marks. Yikes. What would be our secret weapon if we had a secret weapon in this deck? Honestly, probably Pummel, so that it takes advantage of the, the Archibeko. Okay, let's Pummel Archibeko. Terra. Nope, the barricade out, because we're certainly not going to have the ability to utilize that. Rebound. I still want to try and get to my more power, is the thing. Giving myself another turn, or possibly two, really, depending on how this goes, to try and find it. Your hand, yeah, that's not gonna work. Hey, we found it just in time. And another dice block, you love to see it. Take like a single boss card, I don't really want that many in this deck. The core's pretty good though. Should we get it out early, actually? Um, get two costs. Soul Draw really wants an upgrade. That's one thing. Yep. Chest. Uh, search the treasury for a relic. Chest. Gemstone gun. Can't take it. Okay, so now... Oh, we're still screwed. Yeah, that was... Yeah, it's too late for us to now actually... Dang it. Damn, 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 damn. I'm going to amplify the here and now because I can't move. So here and now seems a pretty good amplifier. I'm also going to amplify that Empower. 
We're uh, this is gonna be a good strength. This is gonna be a good strength run. Um, I'm going to quick study here, looking for defense, actually. Move my debuffs. Really help me. Ow! This was supposed to be a really good one. Why is it going to be bad? And Fiend 5 with a super easy kill at the very end. Okay. Uh, again, weak card. Thank you. Vulnerable card. Just keep it balanced. We're almost at the 50 card deck. Got to remember Echo Form, Echo Form, Echo Form, Echo Form, Echo Form, Echo Form, Echo Form. Okay, so we should first play probably Automata. We have Echo Form. We're not going to do that. Don't worry. Uh, double up a Bouncing Beam. And then legitimately the most damage we can do is just Riddle with Holes. Don't want to use the Automata Beam because that's a less energy next turn for us. Again, I'm going to dupe the first thing I play, so I should probably dupe reprogram. Good exotic form right there. Let's third eye to try and make sure that we draw something useless. Effectively denying some useless cards from the next draw. Are you giving me automata beam, please? I really can't play that. I'm gonna go more power and a piercing whale here. Study the spire would be really good as well. So we're about to lose the rest of the other one. <sighs> okay. Echo Form probably won't let me play boss card two times in a single turn, but I really want to see. Yeah, the second one just won't even be played. Oh, it's so harsh. I'm gonna double shock. Okay, at least it does carry over to the next one still, so that's good. Or any zero cost defend we can pop back atop our deck right now? Not really. The one cost defend there instead. here and then hopefully we kill next turn yep this will do it although I'm gonna double play the construction there upgraded strength card thank you gambling chip that's really really valuable I'm gonna go for another upgraded strength card I want the ability to actually actually get big Toasting could be pretty good here. Less so now because we've got a slither strike. Oh, don't use power. Let's start out with the don't use power and then we'll walk our way to a Sneko Beam. Iron Wave just to keep it steady we 
Eternal exhausted zero cost cards to your hand. I wonder if that counts the deck as protections that are no longer zero cost. Why don't you show me what you count, Waste Not? You do not count that. <laughs> that makes sense, but still. You hope I find some damage here. So we get some new potions, and then... Eh, nice! Big defend from that dice block. Emerald from momentary dex is not really going to matter. I'm going to go for the dice crush and just yeah, end this. Strength cards? Yeah. More and more and more of them, please. Fiber Rare Relic here as well. Look, if we're not going to be able to take on Yao, we've got to take on as much of a challenge otherwise. Mm. I like that blind in the opening hand here as well, actually. Perfect. Then we get to Enlighten and play Corruption. You know what? I'm going to pop that Swift as well here. Nice. We've got another Entropic and we're going to want to use that before we reroll everything. Thread and Needle's a really good pickup here as well. And yeah. Unknown, 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 unknown. All right, now, ladies. Yeah. There's no way of getting Dark Shackle in my next hand. Not necessarily. No. Charge up would actually be pretty good, though. Sure. Revenge Protocol is extra strength on that turn, too. Although Quick Study is probably... More useful. Let's look at quick study. Time ripple. Apply slow to the enemy. That seems pretty good. That also removes my ability to play charge up now though. Probably should have thought about. Mm-hmm, especially with 30 incoming damage, seems like it would have been a reasonable pick. We get to pull two cards out here. We have six strength as well, so it's probably going to be Soul Draw and Fiend Fire. And then just murder him. Okay, there was never going to be a problem there. Hmm. <laughs> Orange Bellets is so good with this character. The ability to purge all of the debuffs you invariably accidentally put on yourself. Um, there's nothing in the deck that I desperately want to remove. It'd be Orange Pellets and uh, Ginger. Take a Dice Block as well. Take a Master Eye because I can just remove the negative impacts of it later. It's a real shame this doesn't get to go fight Meow. That fight would be very, very heavily reliant on basically what Evan Yao decided to give us. Why did I keep... I shouldn't have kept Sadistic Nature there, that's my bad. Go for the Ancient Power, getting us an artifact, and then use that artifact to remove the negative fasting. Hopefully get some extra energy here, which we do, so we can play Vigilance. Still end up with a pretty decent defense after all of that. Greatest Seer. have ethereal cards in hand, unfortunately. That and a 
re-roll, just in case the re-roll made anything else playable. Ghost Inferno is very powerful right now. Do I want to collect in I think I want to collect instead. Like Spheric Shield, Magnetism, even throw out a little bit more damage. The idea here is that we could have taken some damage on that turn to try and wrap up the fight, but otherwise, we don't really need to take any damage in this fight. We can block pretty dang effectively. Great. Another dice block, sure. Extremely happy to see it. I definitely don't need all of those on turn one. Five block at the end of each turn can be pretty good, though. I'm going to throw that, and then I'm going to play the top three cards in my draw pile. Could have been a lot worse. Then Entropic to refill. Okay, that's really good. We get the... Wide Sting to upgrade all of the cards in our hands. Keep them weak and then extra defend. Beautiful. Okay, that that was that was pretty much the perfect first turn. We are fully set up for the rest of the fight at this point. Exotic form needs to go out. I really wish I could play Wish here as well, though. Uh, let's mix it up. Still didn't give us the ability to play Wish. Rude. Ah, oh, Devotion! Ah. Ah. Oh, we're going past so many cards I want to play. Okay, uh, let's get to a hologram so I can at least bring some of those back. Play them again. Fasting some easy take here as well. Instantly purge debuff. Let's also get rid of Wraith Form. Who needs it? Certainly not us. Is there any way I can make sure I get the kill here with the lesson learned? There is. And we get to upgrade one final block card. Now that's one hell of an unknown deck right there. How many of these cards are unknown? Let me, uh, okay. Oh, that's perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 40 unknown cards in this deck. And then pretty much everything else said, you know, reduce the cost of off-class cards. Oftentimes unknown cards are off-class cards draw or do some effect commensurate to the amount of unknown that you have in the deck. There's also more power here. The OG, as well as exotic form, really, really, really pulling the run along. More power. Thank you so much for all of those unknowns making this run really shine. For the moment, though, we've left the heart vulnerable, but we managed to unlock... We are perfect. We managed to unlock three different relics. The first is the Super Sneko Eye, which replaces the Sneko Eye. Oh, interesting. At the start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat confused. The first time you draw a card that's cost three each combat reduces cost to zero. Interesting. There's also the Idol of Retromation. At the start of your turn, reduce the most expensive card in your hand by one for this turn. And finally, the blank card. At the start of combat, play a random card from your deck. Cannot wait to actually be able to play around with some of these. Places Sneko Eye. Interesting. So you'd have to get Sneko Eye in the first boss and then Super Sneko Eye after the second. And the big benefit is that it reduces the cost of a three to a zero one time. That is, that is still important, but... I wonder 
I wonder. We're going to have to play with that and really assess its value at that point in time. But for the moment, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been slated this by a downfall. There is a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future. I will also say at this point that I recently did a Slay the Smire episode with Sneaky T, which is in the same series. So if you would like that, that is the episode prior to this one. And upcoming on this weekend, there is a Slay the Smire Downfall Draft Champions featuring the Guardian. So get hyped for that if that's your kind of jam. But for the moment, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.